Hello everybody and welcome back to another brick in the mall. My name is Twist and I decided to stop messing around with this with Walmart honestly. I'm gonna add a few more uh, cashiers. We're gonna just make our mall bigger. We have a ton of money. We started already developing our path over here. So let's let's actually focus right now on making another uh, making more shops. Let's extend, make this bigger, make the foundations longer. Let's slow the game down to speed one. So we want to build more more foundations. How big is this thing? 11 times 11. Or the, oh, what happened? Oh shit, storage is... Oh god damn it. Crap. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh. Uh, sign, sign, unassign this bad boy. And go to manage store. Sign storage this. Thank you very much. Yes, very much. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right, there we go. We're gonna also have to remove the wall and whatnot. Uh, go to... Remove walls, doors, objects, remove all these things, and we're gonna just move everything down there. It's closed, people are pissed, but it's it's alright, it's fine. But yeah, I think our biggest problem is we have four entrances, we have very, very few shops right now. So there's nowhere for people to buy stuff. So we gotta buy, get more stuff, more stores, definitely. That's gonna be our goal. Let's go to foundations and build foundations. We have a ton of money, it's gonna take us a bit. We can totally do it. Let's make this a little bit... Like wider. Oh, we could actually have like a little nook here. I think that's okay. Uh, that would actually look kind of cool. Let's have this. I want to have 11 times 11, right? So this would be 9 times that. Let's go like two blocks up and then go two blocks down. Have 11 times 11 for the main corridor thingamajig. I'm gonna have then two blocks. Go. This is a 7, right? Seven, this is seven. Good. Just, just want to check. Uh, seven is heaven. So it's like this. We're here in the top. We're gonna again go for an 11, 11 man. We're gonna have some small stores at the edge. It doesn't really matter. So we're gonna waste a lot of money on these foundations here. Like these are quite expensive, but we can make this money easily in a few days. It shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, let's just go make this seven man. And over here, want to make more seven seven man. Over here. And how do we get the perfect? How do we get the perfect ratio here? Is this gonna be enough? Hold on. This is enough, right? This is eleven times eleven. Uh, it's like that, right? Yeah, that seems okay. That's gonna be our. The main body of our mall, we can also extend it a bit more. We have a lot of room, we shouldn't be... We should be, uh... A bit more free with our room. So we're probably gonna have a little, like, entrance here with a road for deliveries and customer... And, uh, worker parking and whatnot, because that's fairly important. And we have, like, a, like, another road over here. In a big area. I think that's gonna look good. Unfortunately, there's no way to have an underground garage yet. Which is gonna be kind of annoying. We'll think of something though. We'll find the solution. We always do. We're gonna get the builders built. It's gonna take them ages. It's also gonna cost us a ton of money. We do make a bunch. So we shouldn't have any problems. All the. Oh my god! All of them are occupied! I think, I think we did it, guys. I think we made it. Oh god. Oh shit. They all left. No! Get back, guys! I need your help. I need your help. Object. Check out counter. Oh, don't. Pause the game. Uh, rotate with Q. I could do it the other way if I want. I could do it like in the bottom, but I don't want to do that. So we can do it like, hold on, let's do it like this, this. Okay, I want to do it like, honestly, this, this, this. Do a triple, do a triple. Yes, they have the shelf here. Just by, just by doing this, I should get a lot more cashiers in on the action. It's gonna take a bit, but we can do it. No biggie, this one is full. This storage is probably way too big because they're filling it up to the brim and wasting their time with this. That's fine. A lot of people flushing. Do they even use the urinals? Let's 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 keep an eye on this. Someone asked that in the comments. And honestly, I've never seen anyone use one of these.
They always use the stall. Maybe they use it if there's nothing else available. Let's, let's try this. Let's go to assign and assign this area and see what they do. There's a lot of people using the restrooms now. But I haven't seen anyone use your own. Maybe they only use it if there's nothing else available. That's a possibility. But there's always like at least... At most one person in the toilet now. Interesting. Useful parking. Oh god, I need so much more parking. Restrooms, no restrooms are, are full. Right, I think they don't use them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to restroom, gonna extend this bad boy. And we're gonna go to build, actually objects, remove all logs, we're gonna remove these two things. Because they're useless, apparently. Maybe they're not, I don't know. But we haven't used them at all yet. How's going along? It's going quite well. I like it. We're gonna have our entire infrastructure soon. We still have to fill in the entire area in the middle. But this is what we need right now. We need to pull people away from from Walmart. It's at the entrance. People need to go somewhere else. Seriously, they cannot just stay there the entire time. It's not. It's not viable. It's just not viable. Okay, this storage is it big enough. I think it should be big enough. We still have empty, empty, empty these registers. It's night time though, so we don't have that many people. I mean, honestly, I wish there was a way to mass adjust, to just auto adjust everyone. Having to adjust every single person manually is awesome that you have the ability to do so, but if you have a big store like this, it can be kind of annoying. Right, our store just seems to be doing okay now, which I do like quite a bit. Uh, queues are full, interior trunk fast, we should probably close that store down. Restaurants, of course, restrooms. Queues are full, and Octopus Supreme, because checkout counters are full. Do I have enough people here? How many people do I have hired right now at the moment? I have, like, I have six people total working here. But they don't show up. For some reason or another. Uh, let's hire... Oh, I have so many people on offer here. I hire some good... Some some good folk. Sort by starting our sword cashiers. Who works? You need to work at midnight at all. Work in the from like eight and eight. I want to have nine at all times. I actually want to have more than nine because they will not show up. But I guess that's, that's like something. Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. There's not that many night customers, so that should be okay. This should help. Okay, this actually seems a lot better now. We have a lot more uh, registers, so a lot more people actually show up. So we need to have more registers than people, and it's gonna get better. We just have to hire more people, because they will not use all the registers, apparently. Because they don't show up for work if they don't have an empty one at their time of starting. Alright, I also want to remove this wall over here, because it's in the way. Please do that. And actually, we built the entire thing here. It's awesome. We did spend quite a lot of our money, but it's okay. I still want to fill in this entire thing on the inside. It's gonna be annoying to do that, but oh well. Uh, let's move like another wall in the middle of nowhere here, I guess, because we do need, we need to exit the middle area. How much would this cost me to fill in the entire foundation? Way too much money. All right, that's really expensive. Building foundations is really expensive. Something I noticed. All right, let's get another booze store right here. We have female underwear here. Right? Doesn't do that much business, but Boost Store might do a lot more business if we actually did something with it. Let's uh, go to build, build foundations, just extend this entire thing. Like that, and also like extend this. This needs to be foundationized, remove these so they don't break the walls. Just make this entire thing into like a big store. We're gonna have a big alcohol store with a lot of booze. Does this make us any money right now? It actually does. It actually makes us money. Which is really interesting. 
Just build this, please. Thank you. What is this again? This was a... Why did they build this thing? Was that a storage before? Oh, that's the janitor's closet, right. That's the maintenance center, my bad. These are fully in Walmart. Holy shit, really, guys? Come on. I mean, I guess I could use more cashiers. But still, how many should be working right now? Right now, we should have... It's like midnight, we should have like 16, right? We have... we don't want to... We don't have that many. We don't have that many! We don't have that many. Also getting kind of empty. We need more stock clerks, definitely. And more, more deliveries, definitely. So let's go build some more temporary solution. Get some roadwork, get some loading zones. Like, whatever, we can fit them over here. We cannot fit them in the corner, that's okay. Fit them there. We're gonna do a little loading zone island in the middle here. Uh, after a bit of time. Alright, also, we're doing that. Get some, get a lot more customer parking. The bottom, they're gonna hate it because it's super far away, but I don't really care. I don't really care. Deal with your shit. Remove road. These roads also need to go. There we go. Oh, no. Actually, I should just like do this and then just ditch the edges. I need to keep like that. You can fill in everything with customer parking. Also the outside. Uh, this is causing problems. Yeah, there's way too many cars going around here. Because they all twist and turn and burn and schmern. I think this being a four-way crossing is a problem, so we're gonna go to... Remove road, we're gonna remove this road over here. I can't build it at the very edge. Let's find actually a builder. Okay, you... Please go build this. By build, I mean remove the face of this planet. You're not listening! Emily. Yeah, I hate you so much right now. Right, it's 5 p.m. Uh, uh, still... Still crowded, still problematic. But again, the best solution is to build more stores. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go to build another wall over here. It's gonna be our alcohol store. We're gonna be using our uh, checkout counters that are turned differently for the first time ever. Oh my god. So exciting. So, wanna get him, have him going top to bottom or bottom to top? I actually wanna maybe do him like this. I have the Peter first worker here. It's actually kind of confusing to do this. Here, here, here. Here. Right, that looks actually great. I love that. I want to actually move them. Oh, we can't actually move them if they're not already the same, I guess. Okay. We do it like this. That seems much better, right? Yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna move them one more block. But we can have a double door at the top, no problem. And okay, that's fine. Objects want a double door over here. Also want to have like a double door at the bottom. We're gonna fill this up with a bunch of fridges and we cannot rotate these yet, but that's gonna come, I think. I mean, we have counters, we might as well get these. I don't see why not. We're gonna have to do a big redecoration of our entire mall after we do that, but that's fine. We're not in a hurry. So let's have a bunch of the top food shelves. Our four stuff. Let's keep the... Cold ones at the top. Like this. Keep cold stuff over here. We can have... What goes in the fridge? We can have an entire row of beer. Two rows of beer. Sold. Food shelves. Then we want to have maybe a row of like fancy beers. I'm future planning here, guys. Future proofing. We want to have two rows of wine. I want to have... Two rows of liquors. There we go. 
a lot of alcohol here. Please don't kill yourselves, guys. It's gonna be really bad if you do. And we have some decorations here. Might as well have some, I don't know, have a little plant type A. Why not in the corner? Have it filled up with plant type A's there. That's gonna be a lot of money, but it's gonna look nice, right? It's gonna add a little bit of flavor to our stuff. Wall tiles, floor tiles, we can have maybe like a wooden store, wooden floor. That's a lot of money. Ah, it doesn't look that good. Those are kind of bad. I wish it was a, was a bit darker, I would like it a bit more. These tiles, again, a lot of money spent on this. I, I really don't like these. These are not my type either. What about these darker ones? Ah, that looks a little bit too metallic. Let's go with wood, I don't care. Go with wood. It's fine. That's okay. Alright, what if I add doors here? For example, go to... I can fill the room, interesting. 20,000, alright. Interesting, that's actually much, much u more useful. Whoa, it's kind of cool. It's like actually really weird how it fills up stuff. I don't know what the mats are behind this. I guess it like tries to propagate from the center. You can see that this like make, makes a shadow. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I was going to actually add a door, right? Go to objects, go to door. Go to door. It's double door over here. Like that. Just close it off to make it a little bit separate. I know this is gonna make people less like to buy stuff. We'll see. Okay, this is gonna be our liquor store. It's it's gonna happen one day. Uh assign. Let's assign it as a assign. You can actually fill it. I see. That's interesting. I signed it as a store. I didn't realize that was here before. I missed a lot of stuff out, apparently. Uh, that we also want to have like this path connect like this. So it's accessible to everyone. This is like a little side corridor that hopefully people won't use. We can add a staff door in the middle to make pe prevent people from using it. But um, we could do something like... I'm not gonna extend it now. I'm gonna just go to manage this. I'm gonna assign storage. I'm gonna assign this one. It's it's close enough. Opening hours should be 24-7 as everything else. Staff, hire a cashier. We need to beat a bunch of them actually. Oh, it's always so annoying. Just hire... Let's hire... Let's hire 10 for now. One, two, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. We're gonna have four. We start at actually two. We start at midnight. Start at eight. 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 And the rest of we start at like sixteen p.m. That. How is that wrong? Ten. Oh, my bad. There we go, like that. That's gonna work. And the only thing left to do is to set these to the proper product. I'm gonna do that off camera so that I don't know you guys with dumb menial stuff that no one really cares about. We're gonna take care of it. We're gonna be back in the next episode with a lot more booze than ever before. But yeah, I'm gonna actually end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Another Brick in the Mall, please feel free to leave a like and leave a comment. It helps out a great deal more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again. Thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hannah Games, and I will see you next time.